This is Witchbase News for Friday the 13th of March 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the fuel rats hit a new rescue milestone ...the hot mess initiative hits a roadblock ...the loose screws podcast will be getting a VIP guest and more. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. The legendary Elite Dangerous intragalactic rescue operation known as the Fuel Rats hit another significant rescue milestone this week with their ...wait for it ...70,000th rescue. If you've been living amongst rock hermits for the last few years and don't know who the Fuel Rats are then they're an entirely player organised and run emergency refuelling operation. If you run out of fuel anywhere in the galaxy and I do mean anywhere ...the Fuel Rats will attempt to reach you, deploy refuel limpets and get you on your way again. They have a breathtakingly efficient and very slick web interface that you use to call for assistance that has live dispatchers from around the world working 24 hours a day. I myself had to call them when I was not paying attention one day doing Rubigo runs ...yeah I'm not proud of it ...and they arrived within about 5-10 to 10 minutes of the call being made and got me on my way. According to the Fuel Rat website there are over 10,000 commanders signed up as registered Fuel Rats across 3 platforms. It's nothing short of amazing. All hail the mighty rats. As you may be aware there is currently an initiative underway driven by the Hutton Orbital Truckers to deliver at least one Hutton mug to every single station, outpost and installation in the galaxy that has a commodity market. The initiative called Operation Hot Mess which stands for Hutton Orbital Truckers Mug Every Single Station has managed to reach over 77% of the 53,263 stations it needs to reach but has hit a snag. The only station that sells the rare Hutton Mug ...Hutton Orbital Station in Alpha Centauri fell into a state of infrastructure failure this week. One of the side effects of infrastructure failure is the closing of the purchasing half of the commodity market meaning no one can buy any mugs to distribute. The infrastructure failure is expected to last around a week but it's thought that the time can be shortened by delivering power generators and water purifiers to Aldin Prospect in Alpha Centauri. If you want to help combat the failure then the guys at Hutton Orbital would be grateful for the assist I'm sure but bear in mind that Aldin Prospect is an outpost and so large vessels will not be able to land there. The guys at the excellent Loose Screws podcast have a special guest arriving on the show early next week. Stephen Benedetti one of Frontier Development's community managers on Elite Dangerous will be joining the guys for a chat. The guys at Loose Screws are always an entertaining listen and it'll be fun to hear them chatting with Stephen. The interview should be available uh, early next week. Renowned Elite Dangerous photographer Commander Placid has been releasing some amazing Elite Dangerous themed digital art over the last couple of weeks that explore some imaginative ideas in the Elite Dangerous universe. They're simply stunning and wouldn't look out of place hanging framed on a wall somewhere. Our particular favourite is the crashed Coriolis image entitled Fallen Giant. Links to the commanders images and social media are below. Just incredible. And finally a quick bit of non elite related news. Frontier Developments announced a multi year deal with Formula 1 Racing this week to develop and publish Formula 1 themed management games. The first of which is expected to launch in 2022 with further titles expected through to 2025 subject to the games hitting certain financial targets along the way. This strikes us as quite a logical addition to the companys growing portfolio given their now extensive experience in producing extremely accessible park and management sims. For more details on anything we've talked about in the show this week then check out the video description below. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. And if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find links below to Patreon. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then O7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.